My earliest cricket memory is playing with my brother and my cousin in the backyard at my grandparents' place in Dubbo, uh, where we, every time we, ca we got there, we used to play cricket and wore a little patch in the grass. Um, and yeah, some amazing memories there. So my test taboo was in November 1993 over at the Wacker in Perth. And I remember we went through all our preparations from training to team meetings to, to everything. And it was match day. Uh, we'd done our warm-ups. I found out I was in the playing 11 and it was quite an amazing feeling. And to finish that uh, match with three wickets, I thought at the end of that game, I felt that this level of cricket wasn't beyond me. And I think that held me in good stead throughout the rest of my career. Well, my top three cricket moments, uh, it's hard to sort of narrow it down to three. Uh, individually, I'd say my first test wicket, um, scoring a test 50, hard to go past that, uh, and playing on my favourite ground, the SCG. To me, cricket's about, it's a team sport. So to win in the West Indies for the first time in a long time in 95 was special. To win in India in 2004, uh, probably the last frontier where Australia really hadn't conquered. And then the World Cups that we uh, played in, and we won three of them was uh, were amazing memories. Well, the highlights off the pitch, there were so many as well, but uh, the ones that really stand out and the ones I remember the most, probably fondly, are the times in the dressing rooms. After matches, Occasionally after a loss and commiserating, but especially after a win when you're celebrating and just being around your teammates. My first tour with the Australian team was to South Africa and I still class that as the best tour I've ever been on. Yeah, so many special moments here and special memories here at the SCG. My favourite ground in the world. You know, every time I walked on the field down the stairs here, out onto the, the grass, it still gives you, you know, your hairs on the back of your neck still tingle a bit when I walk out there now or when we come up and go into the rooms and see on the honour board some amazing names. Uh, I had my little spot in the change room where I sat and where I sat every test match. Um, but yeah, you know, to run in and bowl out there in a test match, even scored a few runs, surprisingly enough. I, th I always felt I had to raise my bat when I scored a single here at the SCG because of that support. But yeah, my final test match here at the SCG, I thought it was a perfect way to, uh, to end my test career. Yeah, sort of walking out on that uh, last te day of Test cricket here at the SCG, uh, it was, I think it was more excitement than anything else. I was, I was ready to retire, so I wasn't sort of thinking about what I was going to do. I was just enjoying the moment. And to walk off, you know, arm in arm with, with Shane, waving to the crowd, capacity crowd, um, some very special moments. Yeah, to think back to 2009, that first pink test, uh, I don't think we expected what would happen during that pink test. And each year it seems to have got bigger and better. And uh, what it's grown into now, uh, think of the virtual pink seats and, and the impact that's having is absolutely incredible. And I think even thinking back to when we started the McGrath Foundation um, and decided to tell our story, we felt if we could help one person by telling our story, then it's worthwhile. And I think where the foundation's grown into, to see where the pink test has grown into and the support and the way people have got behind it has been absolutely incredible. Well, to have support from both teams, the Australian team and the touring team for the Sydney pink test is uh, absolutely amazing. You know, I look at it as a, a big sign of respect for myself and also for the foundation that they give up their time and you know, don the, the baggy pinks and, and support the foundation the way they have. So yes, a huge sign of respect for, for myself. Yeah, so many memories from the, the pink tests, uh, 14, 14 years, this is the 15th year. But the thing probably that stands out most to me is just walking around the crowd, especially on day three, Jay McGrath day. I try to take five minutes and just, you know, take it in and, and absorb it because something pretty special has been created. And when you see big, burly blokes walking around dressed in pink, pink wigs, everything else, you know, you've, uh, you've created something pretty special. And I think that's the beauty of sport. It crosses all boundaries and brings people together. And that's what the pink test has done.